Hey guys, I'm Sky from the Score Esports, and today I'm with Hard of Echo Fox. Now, you guys are gaining this amazing momentum from the game. I know that you guys were struggling a little bit with your subs, but now that you guys have KFO and Froggen back, how does it feel with them? Uh, we, we were struggling with our subs, but uh, when they did come back, it, uh, there's like a huge weight or a huge burden like coming out of our shoulders, I guess. And I mean, it, it, like it, there still is, like we're in okay position now. I think we're tied for seventh or sixth. And we, we still need to win a lot more games and then we'll be in a good spot, but it, it's a lot easier playing with them. I want to ask about your coach, Cop. I know that he was previously on Gravity before he worked with you guys. How does it feel working with him? Is he easy to work with? Is he very knowledgeable? Uh, actually, yeah. I think uh, I had a few coaches. Like, uh, Cop's probably the most knowledgeable out of all of them. Uh, he, he might sometimes not phrase things too well, but we have, we have other people with us helping us. And it kind of like, uh, like people like monitoring the... I wouldn't say arguments, but like, just like when people talk to each other, there's like, not sometimes people aren't as understanding. Like maybe some people, I wouldn't say they're stubborn, but they believe they're correct, right? But then, if someone's in the middle telling them like what's, what's the right way, then they'll understand and like alleviates the whole situation. And cops just really, he's pretty smart and he's really good with pick man. I want to ask about your perspective on the whole team so far. I know teams like Immortal, their shot caller is actually nobody. It's everybody works mm -hmm. together. Some other teams like TSM has, um, I believe, Yellow Star doing the shot calling. Do you guys have a specific shot caller, or is it just a team effort? Uh, we, we say our shot caller is big. He, he, does, he does all the rotations and everything, but I think uh, a, lot, a lot of the games when Froggen just gets a lead, he just, he just like says, Yo, let's group up mid, and then... We usually just fight there. Like, uh, for example, in the Energy game and the Renegades game, I think the same situation happened twice. Uh, people, they randomly started sieging to, uh, mid tower, and then he's like, let's just fight mid. And then we, we, as soon as we came, we just engaged. And Froggen usually calls the fights, but Big calls all the rotations and stuff like that. I would also want to ask about KFO. He was the Korean solo laner, very popular for that. Does he still have that mindset, or do you think he's actually working with the team very well now? Uh, at the beginning, he was just kind of... We kind of left him on an island, but uh, we, ha we have a lot more teamwork with him now. Uh, we set up a lot of plays. He's been playing more tanks. Like, he, he plays all those carry champions, like, really well. Uh, he probably wins lane, like, majority time on the, his, like, champions. When he plays tanks, uh, we usually, uh, m like, manage what he does, and we tell him when to back off and everything. Because when you play a tank, it's just kind of like pushing out your wave and coming into group at the right time. And we kind of tell him to do that stuff, but uh, we... A lot of the TP stuff also, like, we, we, we help him out with that. And he's, he's, really, he's really kind, and he's like, he'll always listen to you, basically. So if we call something, he'll do it, and vice, vice versa. If he asks for help, we'll usually come and help. If we can't, we tell him not. Like, we can't do that, then he backs off or something. How is it communicating with him? Is, he, is it actually kind of, like, difficult, like, saying, like, just basic English? Or has he actually understood, with, like, understood the synergy with you guys very easily? Mm. Actually, in the game yesterday against TL, I thought it was a, it was a, it, like, I, I was worried because of the communication in team fights. It was, uh, a lot of our scrims end a lot earlier than 55 minutes or whatever, and we're, like, uh, saying that we need to, we need to, like, pop uh, Alistair ulti with an Nautilus hook, and then we need to back out and wait for it, and then we can re-engage. Uh, I was, like, worried that he wouldn't understand, he'd just, like, go all the way in, but he, he understood, he backed off, and then, uh, I mean, it could have been a bit cleaner. Like we could have reengaged better, but he at least he understood that. Uh, I think for for the most part, just like everything outside of team fights, like super easy for him to understand. He communicates his lane well enough. I'd say he calls for dives. He says when he needs help with the wave, when he can get dive dove. Uh, I'd say that's about it. Yeah. Now that last game ye on yesterday, Saturday, it was a very long game, almost an hour long. How did you guys keep calm and say, I need to stay focused and actually win this game? Uh, I think, so that, that game was really long and I think I, I lost focus at right at the end. I was just kind of like spamming, uh, I, think, I think I was spamming taunt like, and then I got caught. And then uh, I think Keith got a quadra kill there and we ended it like a few seconds later, but I think for the rest of us, uh, everybody else was like super focused and into it. But I mean, it, I guess it's my fault, but yeah, I just lost focus a bit at the very end. 
Now, going into next week, you're actually playing TSM and Immortals. Immortals being the undefeated team so far. Do you guys think you can beat them? Mm. I think uh, TSM would be, I wouldn't say it's like, uh, it wouldn't be too hard of a game. I think we're probably just as good as TSM. Uh, maybe Immortals, uh, the last time we played them was a really long time in scrims. And they, uh, I don't think we actually, we've probably n never beat them in scrims, but uh, I, I think we can, like those games didn't look impossible, but they do seem like the best team so far.